Hello and welcome back to Avplan EFB, part four, familiarization. In this webinar, we'll be familiarizing ourselves with Avplan by walking through the panes at the bottom of the app. Here, we'll be looking at terminal, weather, text, and notepad. So let's begin with terminal. First, we'll open a new plan so that we have a plan in to reflect the airports, which we're going to demonstrate. I'm just going to put in a short plan here. Thanks, Town to Camden. All right, and there are several ways you can access the terminal page. The terminal page, of course, pertains to airports and contains all the airport information, including your charts. You can access the terminal pane by uh, one, pressing the terminal pane, which will open it to the last terminal that you looked at, last airport that you looked at. You can see here I was looking at a very uh, small strip there and that defaults to the last one. If you want to see a particular airport, there are several ways you can do that. You can press on your nav log, tap the airport you'd like to open and that will automatically open the nav log or you can search for any airport in the whole country by tapping on the book icon here and popping your search into the box. You don't even need to know the ident. Say, for instance, you're looking for the oaks. There you are, there's the oaks there and there. And then tapping on the area will allow you to access the charts immediately. So let's commence with Bankstown as that's the one we have open. And so, as I mentioned before, the terminal is the storage area for everything pertaining to airports. So uh, whilst you can access the airport information on the en route map page, as we discussed in webinar three, more detailed information is stored here in terminal. And so let's begin at the top. We have the ident and the direction of the runway there the name of the runway, the lat and the long, and the BOD and EOD. If you tap this symbol here, this will take you to the airport on the map, as you see. And if you tap the second symbol, we'll open the webcam for you. As you see here, here's Bankstown today from a westerly aspect, and here's Bankstown from a southerly. Nice day in Bankstown today. Okay, now you can also put IFR and VFR in here and you can put overfly and land in here too. Although we do normally put overfly and land down here in our navlog and we'll be talking about that in the next webinar, intermediate use. So on the terminal page, we have leg details, which is the page open here. And this is where you can add a delay, which we'll be talking about again in the next webinar, Intermediate Use. Uh, your own remarks for the leg here. So for instance, when I land at, say, Camden, I might put toilets quite far away from airport or something like that, as the toilets are quite far away from the airport. If you have a sick passenger, that's a good reminder there. You can put your planned fuel on, your actual fuel on board here and your ATA and all your notes. So this is a little notepad for you to keep um, score count of anything that you particularly desire. A lot of people use this to uh, monitor their fuel. Next pane along is comms. If you tap comms, you'll get all the comms for Banks Town there, including a live link that will take you through to the uh, AOS. Net will give you all your meteorology, me meteorological information. Uh, including your plain English, paths and metas there. If you scroll down, you'll see a wealth of information. Where you see an arrow, that means there's another page underneath. You can tap that for further information, which will then open the terminal page for the area which you tapped. And of course, there's our colour-coded metas, which we spoke about in a previous webinar. You know TAMs are here too, and you can mark these as red by simply tapping on mark as red there. Here are your forecast winds. These are taken from the gaff and your satellite image of Bankstown here. It's handy if you're going in for the first time. 
Next up is our FBO information, and this is crowdsourced. So we invite you to uh, add any details that you come across when you're at an airport. For instance, if you're at Bankstown and you see they have a MoGas Bowser, go ahead and add the price per litre there. And we share that with everybody, as well as updating these um, fuel prices from, to from time to time as well. Uh, every once in a while, we'll go and update all the fuel prices when we receive those from the fuel distributors. Next up is RAIM. There's your AIM information. And if you're a subscriber, here's where you'll find your AOPA airfield directory guide. Now, if you're a subscriber to the country airstrip guide, you'll be surprised to find that you won't find the country airstrip guide here in Terminal. You'll find it in exactly the same manner as the URSA up here in the book. So what we do is we just add all the airstrips to your directory here. And if you are an airstrip guide um, subscriber, you'll see that you have hundreds of little strips here added. If you want to search for them, search for them in here and then you can find them on the map by tapping this symbol here. We also have our charts. You can either swipe for your charts or we do have a shortcut where you can place three fingers down on the page at the same time and that will bring up your thumbnails. Useful for large airports such as Canberra you don't have to scroll through every single plate and then to access the plate you want just tap on the thumbnail and that will open the plate there for you and we have some customizations that uh, you can do to your plate up here by tapping the book symbol you can show position on the plate you can show your route you can show your ground track you can show your chart on the map and i showed you how to do that uh, previous in the previous webinar accessing it via the map, but you can also access it right here by the via the terminal page by pressing show chart on map and that will seamlessly open the chart on the map there for you. So there's Bankstown's chart covering the map. Press clear there to make that go away. Back to terminal, just tap Bankstown right here again. And to get back to the first page, you just tap three fingers and go back to the first page, which will be entitled Weather. That will open the original page for you there. Or as I said, you can swipe your chart through here for your charts. So here's your aerodrome chart. And let's take another look at some other things we can do in the edit button at the top. We can draw on the chart. We can annotate here. This brings up a little toolkit at the top that allows us to draw on the chart here. We can change the color etc and to delete that you've got a delete button and a back button here that will clear it off for you you can also send your annotations by email or airdrop by pressing this button here and when you're finished with annotating simply press done there so your drawing options are under drawing options here you can also print your chart by pressing print chart or you can use the print option here as well, which will send it to a particular printer here. Also, you have a timer. You can click on and you can click off here. That will start your timer. Also along the top here, you have your lock and your life ring, just as you do on all the pages along the top. So that concludes the terminal page. Now let's take a detailed look at weather. By tapping the weather pane here, you access all the weather options that we have in ASPLAN, other than the radar overlays, which we talked about in a previous webinar, but just to refresh, are accessed here on the en route page in the weather radar icon there. But if you want to do full planning weather, Pop back to the weather, and this is where you'll find your in-depth planning. You have your GAF here. So let's take a look at the GAF first, and I'll just widen this page out by pressing the hamburger icon. And you can see when you put in your flight plan, your flight plan will be reflected on the GAF. Ours is only very small, because as you pinch in with the GAF, you get more and more detail there. You can tap on a particular area to bring you the details, the weather details, for that particular area. 
the GAF suits us very well as at, at Avplan, as, as I described to you in previous webinars. We like to present as much information to you graphically as we can. And so the GAF is a great way for, of us doing that. You can also choose to see later forecasts by toggling the 6 to 12 hour button at the top here. And of course, you can touch anywhere on the country. Anywhere you touch will open the GAF page there. You can drill down, pull in, pull back, make it bigger and smaller so it's very versatile. Then your area briefings are underneath the GAF here. These are all your area briefings and simply tap on one of those areas to see the full briefing there. Next up is your NAPES charts. All the different GAF charts there. All the different forecasts and if, again if you want to see one simply tap on it that will open it up for you there oh, a bit slow there i'm not going to hang around and wait for those charts to load next up then we have our satellite imagery which works in exactly the same way as the gaff you can pinch in and down here you can move forward and backwards here and tap the eye symbol for information. My favourite part, Windsor Loft here. This is the one I would always use before I go anywhere. I find it extremely um, well presented. We we'll just wait for the lag on the software to catch up. So when you tap Windsor Loft, you'll see here your, your route, flight plan track is here. And you can toggle using, you can just not just see winds, but if you tap the icons at the top here, you can also look at um, rain, thunder, temperature, clouds, q &H, pressure, etc. there. And if you tap the windy icon itself on the top, it will bring up a little information box for you here. And you can search by area in the top of the box. Down at the bottom, also, you have your legend and absolutely stacks of information there. So this is worth having a play with on the ground as it's uh, very, very information rich. Next up, you have your bomb charts. So if you're looking for your um, four day forecasts, you'll find those here, your synoptic charts here. There's your standard bomb four day forecast, which you'll use for long range planning. And tap close to bring those away. Then you've got your wet charts, significant weather charts. Here, your surface pressure forecasts, and so on and so forth. And you can scroll through all of these to find detailed weather. Also, if you're in New Zealand, Here's your New Zealand weather underneath and worldwide as well. Here, your worldwide satellite images here too. So as you can see, we have a whole host of weather options for you to uh, look at and play with in this area. Next up after weather is text. This is where we store all your documents. So here's the Australian AIP and you can download these so that they're stored on your device by simply pressing on them and downloading them. I'm not going to do that now as it might take a little time. You can also search the documents here. Recently, we've added uh, more documents, as you'll see as you scroll down. We have Ursa um, with AIP SUPs, all your SUPs go here. So we're looking for a SUP, just come into SUP, have a look there. And your DAPs here. CAO, CARs and CAAPs we've added recently as well as ACs and MOS, uh, Air Services Documents, CASA Documents. And down the bottom here, you've got POH. You can bring in your own POH and there are two ways you can do this. Way number one is you can email it to yourself. So email your PDF POH to yourself and then open it in your mail app on your iPad. When you press open, press open in Avplan and that will bring your POH into Avplan. Here's some I did earlier and those then will be stored on your device.
and you can edit those, remove those POHs. Say, for instance, I want to take out the TB10. I can either slide with my finger to bring up the traditional delete button, or I can edit by pressing the edit button here, which brings up the delete button on the side there. Tap done to finish. Also, we have Dropbox integration too. So when you tap on Dropbox, you can link your account here. And that will uh, then provide an Avplan EFB folder in your Dropbox account. And uh, then you can pop things in that folder and they will appear right here. As you can see, I brought in some photographs there. I'm not going to open them because I'm not sure what they're of. Next up is our chart legends, because now our charts are seamless, mega VFRs. We have joined them all together, so you don't have your legend on the corner. So now you need to search for your legend in here instead. So if you want to see the legend on the PCA, just tap on that or download it. Here we are. Here's our PCA legend and so on and so forth. Tap close to close it off there. Back to documentation. You'll also see some valuable Avplan documentation here. We've got our quick start guide, our user manual, and this is a link that will take us to our your tutorials. So these are just four or five very basic tutorials designed to help you, excuse me, set up your aircraft, get started with Avplan, just for beginners. Uh, your user, user manual, this is the full user manual, so and that is interactive. You can search that manual for any areas. It's quite well laid out. And here's your quick start guide, which I recommend everybody downloads uh, initially. I'm not sure if I've downloaded it yet. Yes, I have. There's your quick start manual, and that will just troubleshoot all your very basic walkthroughs of Avplan, and I do recommend you download that there. And finally, we have a notepad. Now, we're working on bringing some amendments to this notepad, but at the moment, uh, you can change the colour um, here and the thickness of your pencil. And this is um, compatible with the Apple Pencil as well. Um, we've got a back button here and a delete button. Uh, currently, we don't have an eraser, but I, if you do change your pen color to the color of the background, that will work as an eraser for the time being until we bring you your um, eraser there. So you can just write over it here if you need to. Uh, widen the thickness of my pen. There you are. You can just erase it with your finger like so. This is my email address here in case you have any questions. Oh, I've just write, wiped off the dot com, but uh, I can put that back right away. There we are with a slightly thicker pen. So if you need to contact me, the help desk, uh, you can email me on this address here with any questions. And we've already walked through the settings app. So that concludes webinar four, familiarization. I'll see you on webinar five, which is uh, intermediate use. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye bye.